Hi, my name is Andy O'Neill, and uh, I'm going to do a little video here to show you how to do something that actually I had to do today. Uh, I was at a client's office today, and they were given a data set, and the first and last name were all together. I'll show you an example. All together in one column in Excel. Um, if you're kind of a data nerd like me, you want to put those in two different columns. And when you build your forms, you want to grab uh, that separately, a first name field and a last name field. But sometimes you're handed data that's not done that way, and you need to fix it because the systems my client use have two fields, first and last name. So it's always better to collect those separately if you can, but I'm going to show you how to fix it if you're given a data set that has uh, them put together. We're going to use a site called genderapi.com. That's gender-api.com. Uh, they have a free API. You can use up to 500 a month, I believe is what they're uh, their uh, free plan is, and their paid plans are very, very reasonable. And so I've already created an account. I've logged in here. You can see I've got 500 credits uh, valid until August 31st, and so the end of the month. Uh, so it looks like it's, it's August 10th, so it looks like it is on a month cycle. It doesn't go 30 days. So I'm going to click over here. I'm going to view my API key. And it's right there. We're here to API docs. And I'm going to click on split first and last name. So here is my, let me get notepad here. I'm going to paste my API key there. So we want to request this. And this is our URL we're going to use. Uh, you'll notice here, I need to add, I'm going to add my API key right here to the end. And you can see split, there's our name, there's a name in there already, Teresa Miller. So we're gonna have we're gonna dynamically populate that using Integromat from our Google Sheet. So we're gonna copy that. Uh, we're gonna go over here to Integromat. And the first thing I've already done here is I've connected to our Google Sheet. And basically I'm looking at this sheet here. So we have a, a column called full name, then we have first name and last name, which we're gonna populate with this API. And then we're going to add an accuracy score. And we'll talk about that more in a little bit. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking for a full name exists and accuracy score does not exist, which means we haven't processed that name yet. Uh, I'm doing a maximum number of rows as two just for testing. Then we'll open it up and, and go crazy. So I'm going to add a HTTP module here. We're going to make a request. And this request is pretty simple. It's just, we're just hitting a URL with the name in it. So we're going to paste that right here. Now we see we have our, our name goes there. Now I'm going to, because some names might have special characters that could potentially cause problems, I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to add a encode URL and I'm going to do a percent 20, which is a space, and then I'm going to do encode URL again, and I'm going to put the names inside of that. So that that will encode, for example, the percent 20 is encoding a space. And so I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to put, actually, we have a, we have a full name, so I don't need two of those. Making, making mistakes on the fly. That's all right. We're going to put our full name in there. We're going to encode that. And so uh, when that runs, it's going to hit the API and bring us back a result. So let's try it. I'm going to parse the result. So let me save this. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go grab two uh, two names from the spreadsheet and run it through this API, and we'll see if I set it up right. There we go. So if we go down here to our data, last name Boven, Sylvester, uh, name Sanitize. The, the other thing about this, it actually tells you what gender I think it is, and there's the accuracy. So, and it used one credit, tells me that, that's pretty cool. And then go down to the second one, Keeble Yawn, get my sheet here, Sylvester Boven, Keeble Yawn, that looks right. All right, so now that we've broken those apart, we're gonna save back to that Google Sheet. Now the way this works is I'm grabbing this value off of row two. So we're gonna use a module that updates this row and we're gonna update, make sure we update row two, that same row. Add this here, Google Sheets, update a row. I'm going to map the sheet. The reason I do this is if I were to ever change the first sheet that I'm processing, um, by mapping it, it'll 
I won't have to change both modules. I won't have to update both modules. So I'm just going to map whatever the spreadsheet is in step one. There's the spreadsheet ID. And here's the sheet. So if I were to run this, need to run this on a different spreadsheet, I can just change step one and everything will fall into place. Row number right there. Column range A to Z. And we need to update B and C with first, last name, and D is accuracy. So B would be first name, last name is C, and D is, all right, let's save that. Let's run those two again. And we go over here to our Google Sheet. We should see those populate right there. Okay, so uh, this accuracy, where it's important, and I use this today, was if that accuracy gets below uh, 80 or 70 percent, I had some that were zero uh, and uh, or in the 50s. Sometimes it just there's something about the name that it can't translate exactly. What you can do is you can get all the way done sort by this accuracy with the smallest numbers at the top, and then just eyeball those names and see if there ne needs to be anything that needs to be tweaked or fixed. If you're processing a bunch of names, I was doing like a thousand today, uh, that went a lot faster than doing every all, all 1,000 names manually. So let's go back over here and let's set this. We're gonna set our maximum number of turn rows to 50, which should get the rest of our names. Hit save and hit play. We'll just watch this populate. You can see that one there has a 57%. It looks like it it took care of it just fine. This is a 72%. You know, just it gives, gives you an idea that you know I mean, there's some names are harder than others. Uh, here's an example of a of one that did not, for whatever reason, did not translate well. Neither did that one. So you know you can you can fix these names. Uh, but that this is a lot faster than me doing it manually. And so what we can do is if we go up here and select data, create a filter, it'll make these top rows filters now. And if I go, so you can see here, there's some low numbers. You know, once you get into the 90s, it's usually pretty well. But if you have a, a long list of them, sort it this way, and you can see, um, you know, the ones that, that the software didn't think it was highly accurate, just check them over. And that would be, that's a lot less names to review than uh, doing them all, like I mentioned before. So this is this is a pretty easy one to set up. Uh, like I said, because it it has just a URL, so you just hit that URL and you add a parameter to it, this makes it a really easy API to use. And it's a really great one for separating names if you have first and last names together. And so I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, comment below and tell me what you think, what questions you have, and uh, maybe tell me what other videos you'd like to see me 